In the summer of 1940, a small group of young men and their aircraft were all that seemed to stand between the British people and invasion by the Nazi war machine. In the months that followed, the few of RAF Fighter Command would engage the Luftwaffe in savage aerial combat over southern England. In the summer of 1968, some of those aircraft were in the skies again to help film the classic British feature film, Battle of Britain. Now, using unseen footage from the production, this series will tell the real story of the Battle of Britain. After fierce fighting over the Channel and South Coast, Goering is now ready to launch an overwhelming assault on the aerial defences of Great Britain. RAF Fighter Command is about to enter a fight for survival. I intend to continue the air war against the English homeland more intensively. The German Air Force is to overcome the British Air Force with all means at its disposal. German military intelligence estimated that the RAF had only 300 fighter aircraft left, concentrated in the south of England. The Luftwaffe seemed on the brink of achieving the air superiority needed for a seaborne invasion of Britain. It was a grossly over-optimistic assessment, but it was exactly what Goering wanted to hear. The Luftwaffe was now expected to smash British fighter strength in a series of massive assaults, beginning on the 13th of August, codenamed Adlertag, Eagle Day. scheduled for the start of the attack dawned with cloud and mist over the channel. Goering postpones the assault, but the order fails to reach some units. Already in the air, they do not receive the recall signal. Bomber formations fly towards England without their fighter escorts. The RAF are waiting. by the muddled start of the campaign, Goering orders the attack to go ahead after all. There is heavy fighting over southern England. But Goering is determined to launch a properly coordinated attack as soon as the weather permits. August the 15th dawns fine and clear. Three vast air fleets, over 2,500 German aircraft, prepare to make the attack that will finally wipe out fighter command. For Goering, the decisive day of the air campaign was at hand. From the high command in Berlin to the Luftwaffe airfields in France, confidence was high. But most pilots were unconcerned with grand strategy. Wenn ich mich recht erinnere, sollen da also 1.600 Einsätze geflogen geworden sein. Wir haben das gar nicht so besonders empfunden. 
Es war, es war schon ein Großeinsatz, aber wir haben das nicht so als Adlertag oder Eagle Day gesehen, sondern es war eben ein ganz normaler Einsatz mit etwas mehr Flugzeugen. The plan was simple. Bombers would strike at RAF airfields, aircraft factories and war essential infrastructure. Massed fighter escorts would fly high above the bombers, attacking with the advantage of height when RAF fighters attempted to intercept the bombers. At 11.30 a.m., JU-87 Stuka